Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ventus, and this is Splatoon 2, the hero mode playthrough. So it's been several months since the game came out, and I still haven't gotten a chance to play hero mode yet. I've been putting it off for so long, but now is the time, I guess. I'm really rusty. I, I played the game a lot uh, in the first couple months, the first two months or so when it came out. But then after that, it was like, nah, I just barely touched it. Probably even less than two months even. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Hero mode shouldn't be that difficult, and uh, it's the story I guess, but most people play Splatoon for the multiplayer anyway, so it's not really that important. It wasn't really a priority. But uh, yeah, we can just jump into it. Jump, jump, jump. Hero mode in the first game was pretty fun, but uh, to be honest it wasn't that great, compelling gameplay or anything like that. But it was alright. Uh, so let's just hope that this game improves on that, and I assume it will, because, you know, generally speaking, Nintendo does a pretty good job with their IPs and improving with subsequent entries. Alright. Enter. Green Squid. Green Squids are awesome. I'm not sure how long this playthrough is going to go on for, but I don't think it's going to be, like, a, a regular thing. I'm going to try and release it regularly, but uh, it's going to be... Oh, come on! Where's my green? No, 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 no. I want my green back. It's not going to be like a super dedicated series, I think. Because like I said, Splatoon 2 is all about the multiplayer, right? Do I need to, do I need to narrate this? It's technically voice acted. See, she even says Octarians. It sounds like it. <laughs> aimlessly wandering around. Aimlessly wandering around for how many months now? Jeez, it's October now. Stay fresh. Better than... What is it? I don't even know. I don't remember what uh, Pearl and Marina's catchphrase is. Don't get cooked. S stay off the hook. Don't get cooked. Something like that. Stay fresh is still better. I think most people feel that way, right? It's just so catchy. For eel? It's because I'm not green. Isn't she supposed to be green? I mean, yeah, she, she is the green one, right? Lots of green on her. Green is good. Green is win. Or that doesn't rhyme, I guess. Great Zapfish was missing. It's been months now, but yeah, I think just left it missing. Wow, you're not modest. You're not humble at all. Kelly went missing after uh, there was like a short story they added onto the website. Apparently she went missing. They were they were like jealous of each other or something. They wanted to spend more time with each other and then she went missing afterwards. Something like that. Splatoon story, ha ha ha. Sorry, I can't talk. Silent protagonist. Also not green except for my eyes. Hey, that's green. Oh yeah, that's green. Nice, nice outfit. Although the boots are kind of too big. Did she just say stay fresh? But she's saying something very violent. Oh, the kettles. You have to ink them to reveal them. Oh. Was it always like that? It was, right? If you see anything weird looking and then I start shooting her. Holy crap. Her umbrella is so OP. The normal Splatbrella... Well, I think they buffed it, but... 
Wow, this gun sucks. Oh, you have to upgrade it, right? That's the that's the thing. Yeah, you have to upgrade it. So right now, it's like a, a terrible version of the the gal weapons. Holy crap, purple OP. Wow, it's so inaccurate. What? I'm S rank. How dare you? Not everyone has OP weapons. All right, where am I going? Ooh, purple ink. Wait, what is this one? Oh, that's the teleport to the next world, I guess. What is this? Huh. Can I... Oh, see ya, bye. So where do I spend that? I guess I don't know yet. Wait, aren't those things the, the salmon run? Little salmon thingies? Salmonid things? I guess you're supposed to play this game when it- or play Hero Mode when it comes out first before playing multiplayer. So your rank would be pretty low. It would be C rank or whatever. That. Oh, it's a scroll. Splatoon story? Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, it's not the sea scroll. It's a sticker. It looks like a scroll. Alright, let's actually get started. Ah! No momentum. Jeez, this weapon is horrible right now. Oh, I'm teal now. Octarians look delicious. The, uh, little... Yeah, the little tentacle ones. Can I shoot the... No, I can't. Oh my god! Is that... Is that, like, a, a calamari thing? But isn't calamari squid? I guess it can be octopus too, right? Oh, wait. It, it... Wait, wait, hold on a second. Maybe I am not. Maybe I'm not s rank. Oh, I see, okay. Oh my god, this weapon is horrendous. are there? I know there's one below me. Is it dying slowly? Oh, it's, it's inking itself to safety. Onion rings! Mmm, onion rings. Or calamari. Ow! That was painful. Didn't kill them all. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, it, it flew away. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for those then. That's probably like a, a secret thing. No! Wait, is it a secret or is it just something they leave behind? Or maybe it, it's both. They leave it behind and it's some kind of secret. Oh, there's a door here, so I'm assuming that you can open it somehow. 
Oh, no, I can slip through gates. I am definitely... Yeah, maybe maybe she's right. Maybe my rank is, is a lie. The rank is a lie. What was that? Use the key to open the vault? Alright. Oh, jump through the grates! Ah! Oh crap, I have to redo it? Ah, damn it! Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that then. Waste of time. Oh, it's just money! Okay, maybe it's nothing special then. But there's a chance that it could actually lead to something special. Oh, I have lives? Oh, I actually have lives. And I need to grab the key again, I guess? Oh, so it's not... I guess it's not multiplayer. That's pretty obvious. Alright, so if you if you die, you actually go back in time. So that's not good. I shouldn't... I shouldn't... Suicide. Oh, that's what it opened. Okay, so what's this then? Oh, it's just a trap. Trap. I want that armor? What is armor? Oh, I gained an extra life. Armor is just protection from one attack, right? So I'm assuming when a bomb hits you, it's like ink armor. If, if a bomb hits you, you don't die. I don't actually remember how the first game worked. That looks like something important. It's covered in plastic, plastic wrap. Or maybe armor is damage reduction. What's that? Cantuna? Is that a bouncing one? Oh, they're grenades. Bouncing grenades. This game needs bouncing grenades, I think. Like, actual bouncing grenades, not the ones that roll around, or the ones that stick, or whatever. Because that would add another level of strategy to the game. You can bounce grenades over things, but I guess there is the auto bomb now. Toss a bomb with R to distract. Nice, I'm so good at this game. Oh, there's something there! Uh-oh, I missed a secret. Onion ring. Can I go back? No, I can't. Damn! So there's a lot of secrets that you might miss in your first playthrough if you're not careful. I missed the onion ring too? Don't miss the onion ring. There we go. I always say you need a- they need to add a mouse peripheral. Soon. Because I'm not playing to my full potential using controller. Because I don't use motion controls. I just I just don't know how to use it properly. I've tried using it, it just doesn't feel good. So if they ever add mouse, mouse keyboard? Or just mouse? I doubt they will. But it's not like they haven't done it before, because they used to have uh, Mario Paint or something back in, in the SNES days. That had mouse controls. Oh, I broke the shield already. I see. So you can break the shield. Tenta missiles. Oh my god! That's OP. Wait, is it only four max? So I should aim towards the middle, because they're all circling around. That's oh, five. Are they all dead? They're not even dead. They dodged my Tenta missiles. Gotta pay attention. There could be secrets everywhere. Like off this wall somewhere. They would do that. I remember in Mario 64. Oh crap! Oh, I'm not dead. I remember in Mario 64. That's the last 3D Mario that I, I played. Odyssey's coming out soon. But I'm not really interested in playing it. 
What was I saying? Oh, they always kept secrets randomly on the sides. Typical Nintendo. But that should be your mindset anyway when, when you're playing games like this. Yay, Zapfish! Oh, do you pet the Zapfish? I remember in the first game you pet the Zapfish. Wait a second. Can I jump down? Jumping down is just the uh, previous area that I was at before, right? What if there's a secret around here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Pet the Zapfish! Pet the Zapfish. The hell is that? Wait, what? That's like the paint me like mirror French girls pose. I want to pet the Zapfish! Okay, I missed two of the uh, items. Rip. Why is this back again? Is it just for money? Every time? Oh, okay. So where do I spend the money? I want to upgrade this terrible gun. Yeah, <laughs> this gun's horrendous. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Fan of high places? Not really? Okay. Oh! Pigeons! That was the arrow. What else am I missing? Is there any other secret that I could... Oh, right there. See? If you're not familiar with the idea of them doing this, I guess this would be an interesting experience. They always do this, I think. I would assume, anyway. I played a little bit of, uh, what is it, Galaxy and, and Sunshine, but the one that I actually played the most was 64. That's number three. Let's go to number two first. I'm assuming it's over there. I'm really on the fence about uh, Odyssey. It looks really fun, but at the same time, it's like, do I really want to play the game? It's going to take so long to finish, and it's not really my style of game. I'd rather play 2D fl platformers over 3D. Like Metroidvanias. Autobahn? Oh, sponges. I love sponges. Damn, I feel bad for these guys. They're stuck on those little pedestals, and <laughs> they never move. So if they, uh, if, if you throw a bomb at them, they can't move, some of them. Oh, there's nothing there? No! Come back! Oh, at least I'm green this time, nice! You know, that's one of the things I don't like about Salmon Run. Because the enemies are green, so you can't be green. I want to be a green squid. I wish you could permalock your color. I think there is color locking. Uh, one of the, the game settings. But I don't know if you can set it to green permanently. Secrets. But that looks like a horse. There might be something above me, because normally you're looking forward, right? So they might put something up top. Other than Octarians. Ow. Oh crap, I screwed that up. Anything on the bottom? Ah, oh, this is on the bottom now. Is that a scroll? I'm gonna check if that's a scroll. Oh, I think it is. It, it shows in the top right. See, wouldn't this be fun for a multiplayer map? If you could actually use bouncing items. Uh, you have maps like this with ramps that go up and down. 
And then whoever controls the high ground wins. Or not wins, but has an advantage for sure. Oh, I hate these things so much. I remember these. I was thinking... Oh, what the? Did I just hit something? I was thinking there are a lot of me mechanics in the single player mode that they could add in multiplayer. That would be kind of interesting. Holy crap, that's a massive sponge. Wow. Ah! A sponge. Oh, what the? I gotta go this way. Let's see. I should go to the top, too. I hear something down here. What is it? Oh, no, it's the, the blowfish. This game is so fun. Oh, crap. S rank right here. Uh, uh, gotta dodge it? Okay. The Splatoon world in general, I really like. I don't know what that is. It's like a little sardine or something. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it, I'm really good. Yeah, this Splatoon world is amazing. I always say when I play this game on, on multiplayer, it's not about turf war or inking people or anything like that. It's about fashion and making money for fashion. That's the true goal of the game. Oh, my balloons! So I gotta hit the balloons first if I want more money. Oh, did I miss an item? Did something drop there? Oops. Did it? No, I don't think so. Imagine if this was on single or multiplayer, having the ability to boost up using multiple sponges. Because in most multiplayer maps, there's like one sponge at most. This is so cool. Seriously, imagine if this was a multiplayer, stuff like this. I mean, obviously the focus of multiplayer is not to create this expansive world, but it would be nice if they did that. What are these? Oh, it's a chain reaction. Well, I got both of the secrets. Let's see what the ending screen will be this time. It's the same one. Paint me like a French girl. I like the petting one better. The petting, the zapfish one is so much cooler. Nice. Music heads are still buzzing over that legendary underground show two years ago. Anyone lucky enough to catch DJ Octavia's opening set and the Squid Sisters headlining had their minds blown and their lives changed that night. Is that Marina? So was she inspired by that night, I guess? Splatoon lore. What's up here? I'm still not sure what the little sardine thing is. Oh, yeah, that. Well, I have two of them now. Maybe after I finish this world, she'll explain it to me. And I'll get the ability to upgrade. 